Okay. So, uh, yet another video, of course, because I get one up. That's the video I'm talking about every day. Um, so what we're going to talk about today, well actually I just want to say firstly, this camera is getting on my nerves. You can probably see it's still doing that weird line thing and I should know what I'm doing with this because I kind of know what I'm doing with filmmaking. But yeah, I seem to have this problem. I've got an idea, I'm not going to go into it, but yeah, I'm about as good as that at that as I am at this. So maybe that explains... I just make a lot of mistakes, as you can tell. It wouldn't be any fun watching these videos if I didn't. Anyway, uh, I'll stop going on. So yeah, we're talking about the Arch User Repository, which is a um, pretty cool bit of kit, really, that uh, you can use on your Arch Linux system. And so you've got your normal package manager, of course, Pac-Man, but there's a thing called the Arch user repository. I'll just show you what it looks like on the page, if I can get the right thing. If I can get the right thing. There we go. Right. So, this is what it looks like. So it's on on the website. Click on AUR. That's what it's abbreviated to. And you've got this package search here, and you can search for any package on the repository that somebody has made. And all that means is that you can, you you, I, can make any kind of package, any bit of software we want, and package it on the AUR, basically. There's some caveats, but I'm not going to go into that because it'll be here forever like these videos tend to be. And um, it means that you or I can also download them. And so there's certain packages that you might want that you can't get on Pac-Man, and instead of compiling it or getting the binary online from some website the AUR is a way to get it as like an additional packet well kind of let's just let's just go into I'm going on way too long on this but it's kind of like a bit a bit of a bit of like special source in your Arch Linux install anyway so first of all first of all well I think we need to install git yeah git if you're English, British, that sounds like an insult. Um, it's just it's just a piece of software for downloading stuff and isn't it? Oh, it's just so much to cover here. Surely I can't cover all of this and this. Okay, let's just stay focused. AUR, AUR. Okay, we can do this. So this is the wiki for the AUR, the Arch wiki. Um, and oh, again, there's no point going through all of this. Prerequisites, so you should have base devel installed now. That is on my install video. So if you haven't, you'll need that. Um, because it's got the make package command. Okay? So you need that. Look on my other videos or whatever, or just follow this instruction. It's just base dash devel install it. Okay, so this is how you acquire the build files. Okay. So AUR package name, right, there is something I need to install, so we're going to get that ready. It's called Devour, you see that? So this is a package on the AUR, this is made by somebody, it's packaged by somebody, the same person as a maintainer. And um, this, this basically takes the windows that we've got here, so if I go into start X, and if I open a window, basically if I do Firefox now, we'll load in a second, it opens a new window. We don't want that. We want it all in this one window, okay? So you can't get that on the main repositories, I believe. Now there is something called swallow, but we do not use that word on this channel. I do not swallow, okay? I devour. Just want you to understand that. Understand that? Okay. So we're going to get this package here, right, S, oh, I've got to get a move on, this is going to be forever. Um, a few things to remember, security wise, remember this could be anybody, anybody could be making these packages. Um, so you want to kind of look at the view package build. And this just tells you what they're doing. So there's a few things here, oh, 
I mean, are you going to understand this? I don't know. I mean, you just basically need to look at anything suspicious. What's it doing? Is it going to like delete your, I don't know, RM, pseudo RM, your home drive? If it says something like that, is it downloading from some weird source or whatever? No, it's just downloading from, I think it's from Git. The, um, Git. I just, oh, whatever. Anyway, it, it just looks, it looks all right to me. I've used it for a while. Also, you can use the, uh, as a guide, like votes 10. That means people using it, guessing they don't have any problems. Um, and there's some other stuff here. Now, I hope this one works because otherwise we've got to use the other one. So this is a bit confusing. You've got Devour, which is like the whole package. Then you've got Git, which basically follows the repository. Yeah, this I'm not going to go into Git literally, but the repository on the internet that gets updated, it pulls those files down rather than packaging it, if you like, in a binary. Does that make sense? It's not quite a binary. Whatever. Well, you have got, actually, know you've got dash bin, which specifically is a binary. So you see dash git here, if it said dash bin. Yeah, this is too much for one video. Anyway, let's just, let's just try and stay on track. Let's just try and stay on track. So we want this. So if we look at the instructions, we've got git clone this. Now we need to install git, so let's get this out of the way. So first of all, make sure your packages are up to date because if you don't there could be trouble so I'm just gonna do it I know mine are up to date yeah it's up to date okay so let's install git so sudo pacman dash s git and then yes install this take a moment great Right, let's go back to this. So this is where we want to git clone the repository, okay? So I am going to manually type this out because it's always more fun if I manually type this out. Git clone. So I need to set up my paste on here. I could just use it in my virtual machine. I could just paste it from this inside my virtual machine, but yeah, I'm not good. So HTTPS. It's more fun this way, isn't it? More fun this way. Uh, so it's AUR Arch Linux. So this is like the standard format, and you can see it here. You can see, um, there you go, git clone URL. So you can read only, click to copy. So it's always going to be this sort of format. The org, if I'm doing this right, devour.git. Okay. I hope I've done this right. Right, let's get on with it. Has it done it? Oh, looks good. Go into devour. I'm going to devour, right. Enough of that. Um, Yeah, so we've acquired the build. You can do all this stuff if you want. I don't know why. Right, now we've got to build the package. So all we want from here is, um, uh, where is it? It's all this stuff here. So we've gone into the package name. Yeah, yeah, we, that's look, this is like your security thing, look at this. But we just want to write, run, make PKG, and then we want S, so this resolves dependencies, so this is other files that it needs, and I for install, so we install it. All right, let's get on with this. So, I don't think you need sudo, because it's just, whatever. So just run this, this should work, I hope. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. All right. Okay. Right. Let's try it. Devour Firefox. Ta-da! It works. Okay. So there we go. We've got full screen Firefox. Perfect. That's what we wanted. Right. So what to say after this so you will need to upgrade these packages okay you will need to upgrade these packages but that's if they get updates but there's a better way to do it it's called a package well what is it it's like um uh what do they call it i'll show you what i mean i will show you oh, let's look let's go back into the aur so 
like we've got Pac-Man, we want to update our packages, right? Now, this is not on... Devour, for example, is not on your Pac-Man repositories. It's separate, so you have to do everything manually yourself. So you've got to go onto this web page and see, oh, has it been updated? No, this is quite an old package. No, it's not been updated. It's not... Okay, I won't... What about, imagine if you've got 10, 20 of these. You're going to have to look for every package. No, just use a helper. Now, they officially you shouldn't use a helper but everybody uses a helper everybody so what's the best way to do this so the irony being this is in the AUR so you have to build it before the helper will help you install packages so we're just going to do this now we're just going to get the instructions oh, cropping my thing what is going on there so install them okay yeah we got that git clone this say so, yeah okay so we're going to go back into this come out of that all right oh dear we want to git clone actually it'd be easier if i just do What are you doing? Right, that's what we want. What I'm doing? What am I doing? Okay, getting a bit muddled up with my stuff here because I've got Windows and Windows on virtual machines. Whatever. Okay. Right. So I just need to change that to yay dot git. So this is um. So annoying. What am I doing? So this is okay. This is get my words out right. This is the git clone. There you are. So we need to change that to yay dot git. Okay. Okay. Oh, you guys, you're so patient. So patient. Beautiful. All right. Okay, so it's basically the same thing again. That's the instructions, yeah. Make, right. Okay, make pkg dash si. This might take a moment. I hope it doesn't take too long. Oh my god. Taking a bit. Taking a moment. Okay. Getting somewhere. 39 meg. God, I hope this doesn't take long. Oh, what can we talk about? What could we talk about? Oh no, it's got install go. Okay, so this is just going to take some moments. So, yay is fast when it's running. Um, occasionally I get problems with it, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. You can use it to update your actual, you can use it to update Pac-Man as well. I wouldn't recommend that, and others probably wouldn't. It can cause a few weird issues. Um, so what I tend to do is, my updates to do Pac-Man and then Yay, but be aware Yay will up look through Pac-Man. Basically, there is a flag you can use to to whatever just look online. I mean, I could probably do a new whole new video here with this. Oh come on! Yeah, so let's take a minute. Let's take a minute. It won't take too long. You probably just want to skip to the end now, or you probably turned off already. Oh. Anyway, what do you think of the new picture? You think it looks good? Worse? Really, all I've done is just change the um, white balance. But those lines, they're annoying. They are annoying. Yes, yeah, so you can probably see it's running through its thing. It's taking some moments. Too many moments painful this is painful so painful oh okay we're nearly there we are nearly there we are there right so I'll show you yay in action now do not run sudo with yay reason being 
Um, it shouldn't have pseudo permissions. Just trust me on this. It will ask for pseudo, but do not put pseudo in it. So as you can see, it's looking for packages. So we can actually install devour on this, but what else? What else could we install? So now the world is your possibilities. You can install anything from the AUR, absolutely anything. What's a nice little, little, ah, oh, little quick package? I don't know. Um, mm -mm -mm. Should we just install the Devour Git? How funny would that be? Would that break it? We've got two, two Devours on that. Probably not a good idea. Ah. Uh, Definitely should have planned this video. Can't even pick some random thing. What do I normally have? I know, net hogs. Let's install net hogs because why not? It's a nice little friend. Okay, so you got net hogs dash git dot git. Right, okay. So I think you do yay s net hogs dash git. So it's just like the name of the thing. So it's net hogs dash git. So just, just look at this. So it's nethogs dash git, and then you've got pass or whatever. Okay, let's try that. Look at that. Right, just hit I, capital I for install, whatever. Uh, diffs to show, this will show the diffs. If you want to see the difference between the last package, and there's obviously no diffs, I don't, I don't know. It's just a load of stuff, just whatever. Okay, it's doing it. Doing it. I hope it doesn't take long. I don't think it takes long. It's quite a light package. I think it's quite light. Let's just hope it works. This is going to be a big waste of time. How long is this video? 12 minutes. Lucky people. Lucky people. Well, I think that's going to be pretty much it. I just really need to prove to you it works, don't I? See, it's just just do this. Don't don't do any other fancy stuff. Honestly, I don't. There's other package managers for the AUR, but you know, just use this one. Okay, so nethogs. There you go, nethogs running. Cute to quit out of that. All done through the AUR. So if you needed to uninstall, you'd just do yay dash rns. Um, Nethogs, for example, yay, RNS. Oh, actually, okay, this is going to be controversial again. Actually, I think you do RNS through Pac-Man. I know it sounds weird, doesn't it? It sounds weird, but what? No. Uh -huh. If I help it, if I spell it right. I think you can do it through Pac-Man. I'd actually probably do it through Pac-Man. No, no, do it through, do it through, do it through, yeah, do it through, yay. Or look online. There you go. Uninstalled. So that's how you install, uninstall, through yay. Yay, got it. Do it, right. This, this has probably gone on way too long now. Um, yeah, so uh, fake YouTube, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment. Um, oh God, I hope this video turns out all right. Because uh, it's kind of important, I think. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for now. That's it.